Hi guys, my name is Katie, or KB Does Art, and today we're going to be going ahead and texturing our Rubik's Cube. So go ahead and select all our pieces uh, in object mode and do edit, delete all by type, history. And then click on Arnold and grab yourself a sky dome light. Uh, you can click uh, five, oh no, I think seven is you'll see like light. But I'm going to keep five on for now. So first things first, let's select all our faces. Oh, I see. Let's select all our objects and then do assign new material, AI standard surface and make it black. All right. I would go ahead and click seven now. Um, that way you can see how it's looking. But so now what's going to happen is you're going to have to texture each of these inside faces. So I'm going to make sure wireframes on so I know that I'm getting all of these correct. But let's do the top face first. Um, what I would do is just hold tab select and then for that like for this ring hold tab, select one, then double click the one next to it. And that is literally the process you're going to make for um, each of these. So I would probably just go through and do all the top ones. We'll make sure you don't select any of the other ones. And then um, I'll kind of walk you guys through uh, texturing the rest of them. So go ahead and just select all these top guys for me. Make sure you get the sides as well, okay? All right, so as you can see, I've got all my top guys like that. You're gonna hold right click, do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface. And then you're going to just go ahead and make that color. Um, you can ignore those down there. I just actually selected them. Uh, but you're just gonna uh, go ahead and make those uh, yeah, actually, I guess let's start with white on the top. White's a good color to start with on top. Um, let's go ahead and assign those back to standard service three. Okay, good. All right, next, we're gonna select these guys. So make sure in face mode, you're not selecting anything else. Same process, select these guys, select these guys. Select those sides. And then I'm going to assign these guys to be a new material shader standard surface. And this side's going to be blue. Um, and then you're going to do the same for each of these guys need to be blue. So when you select each of them, uh, what you can do is just do assign an existing material and then make it that blue like that. All right. So I'm going to do the rest of this side and then I'll catch up with you. All right, so my blue side is done. Um, how I always remember the Rubik's Cube pattern is it goes red, white, and blue if white is on top. So that means that this side is going to be red. So now we're gonna select all these faces and make them red. So go ahead and do that now. All right, so now I'm just gonna give you kind of like a basic template of how to do the rest. So um, the opposite of white is gonna be yellow, so bottom is yellow. Opposite of red is gonna be orange, so this guy will be orange. And opposite of blue is going to be green, so this will be green. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that really quick, um, and you can do the same.
All right, so as you guys can see, I've got all my colors up. Um, next thing I'm just gonna do is, uh, let's go ahead and see how it looks in Arnold. So go ahead and click on Arnold, render, and you'll see how it's uh, turning out here. If you want, um, you can kind of edit each of those textures to look a certain way. Um, I don't really mind mine looking um, a bit uh, kind of glossy. They're supposed to be plastic, so that's fine with me. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. But uh, that's about it for this tutorial. So I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.